Hi guys, I'm Cecilia Chen. I am a Chinese teacher from Taiwan. If you are interested in learning Taiwanese Mandarin, down to earth, authentic Taiwanese Mandarin, definitely check out my channel. By the way, I also offer free mini course for total beginner who wants to learn Taiwanese Mandarin. All right, so check out the link down below. All right, so today's topic, how to sound like Taiwanese people. All right, so a lot of you if you're learning Mandarin for a while in Taiwan, you probably already have this experience like, okay, in the class, teacher teach you, uh, for example, 吃饭, 吃饭, which is to eat, yeah, 吃饭. But you might hear people say, 吃饭, 吃饭. So you're like, what? It's so different from what you learn, right? Okay, so let me tell you that there are some pronunciation that Taiwanese people tend to <laughs> uh, pronounce them bad, I would say. Okay, or it's just our accent, all right. Three pronunciation, pronunciation. You have to um more relax about it. <laughs> okay, so first one is zhi, zhi. Okay, so in standard way, we need to curl our tongue, right? But in the daily, day-to-day -day life, we don't really say like that. So for example, like 知道, 知道, 知道 means to know, right? You can say 我知道, I know, 我知道. Okay, but the problem is people don't say 我知道, <laughs> people only say 我知道, 我知道. It's almost like no curling. It's almost like this. See? 知道, 知道. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is how we pronounce it. But when you mark it or writing in either zhuyin or pinyin, definitely still write this. Okay. Okay, this is the first one. Second one, 吃, 吃, this pronunciation. 吃, again, we don't curl it. We just, we don't curl the tongue, okay? We just say 吃, 吃. See, it's so different. So we will say 吃饭. 诶, 你要不要去吃饭? 吃饭, hmm? Do you want to go eat? Huh? 吃饭, 吃饭, hmm? Or 好吃, 好吃, delicious. 这个很好吃, 这个很好吃. We don't really say 这个很好吃. <laughs> you never heard people say like that, right? Okay, and last one is 吃, 吃. Again, it's about the tongue curling. So don't do that that hard. You will say 老师, 老师. You probably hear people say 老师. Okay, 哎, 老师, 老师, 老师. <laughs> 老师 is teacher, right? We don't really say 老师, 老师. That's too uh, on purpose. A classic example of this shi sound is, um, for example, let's take ten. Okay, as example, ten. In standard Mandarin, we should say shi, shi. We have to curl our tongue, right? But in reality, is that on the street, there's no people saying shi. People say si, si. And it's almost like sounds like this, si, si. Okay, so a lot of students ask me, so teacher, how do I know, uh, are they speaking um, 10, number 10 or number 4? Because number 4 is 四, right? 一二三四四四四 四, 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 and 四. Which one? Which one? Oh my god. Okay, so um, the, the uh, tips is that you have to hear the tone, okay? So for 四, uh, for si, definitely is number four because number four is four tone. For si, si, you hear is uh, rising up, so it's a second tone. So this is definitely a ten. Okay. What about I'm saying si si, si si? This is how Taiwanese people say forty. We don't say si shi, but si si. Okay, si si. So that's what I want to tell you that this 
sh sh. Taiwanese people tend to pronounce them like z c s, almost like that. Okay, but definitely know which one is standard, which one is a day-to-day -day life speaking way. Of course, there are still people like to uh, doing this curling tongue very properly, but I would say. 90% of Taiwanese people don't do this. Okay, so this might help you to understand more what they are saying about and also you can imitate how we speak. Okay, so become more like Taiwanese, right? So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this mini lesson and remember to sign up my free mini course. One is learn and speak Chinese in 30 minutes. Second is learn Chinese tone in 30 minutes. So definitely check it out. Right, see you next time. Bye bye guys.